here from the Millington Public Library and uh, I have a box here that I need to open so I wanted you to see some new items that have just come into the library. Brand spank and new right out of the box so um, maybe somebody's on their lunch break today and has time to watch this. So let's see what's in here. Oh okay. These are I don't get, this one doesn't have all the fun things that um, I can throw out of it. It doesn't have all that packing material, but it is wrapped in plastic. So I'm going to just take this out. See, they come in a packet here from this particular vendor. And these are, look like they're adult books, so it's very exciting. And once I get this plastic off, I know it's like... <laughs> The suspense is unreal around here, but there's some plastic I can throw around because that's part of the fun. Um, hey, they got these babies bound up here so they don't get away from us. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up. Actually, I'm gonna go a little crazy here and actually pick up my mask so I don't have to do it later. So um, in this box we have, ooh. Um, the Treasures of Gnome Book 2. So if you've started the first one, um, the second one is now in. It's Endless Mercy. Um, if you're not sure about uh, this particular book, if you don't know a lot about it, it is, let me see here, it is a Christian fiction. So um, it, if uh, I'm trying to look and see uh, some details here. It says Madison Powell has always been of a generous and forgiving nature, but when her father, long believed dead, appears in Nome, Alaska, the only feelings she can muster are bitterness and anger. Though her sisters have a similar struggle, struggle, Madison finds herself falling out of rhythm with them in other ways. She is restless and dreams of performing her music around the world. The arrival of a traveling show could prove just the chance she needs, and the manager promises more than she ever imagined. So, um, a good Christian fiction um, adventure. Um, it's part of the Treasures of Gnome series. Next book, oh my, Daniel Steele. I never really have to say much about Daniel Steele. Um, you know, people love her, and what a beautiful picture of her on the back there. This is the book, her new novel, Neighbors. So, um, you Danielle Steele fans, it's here, and it should be ready to go probably by tomorrow, um, ready to go out on the shelf. Usually, we get the books in, and they go pretty quickly to the shelf once um, we open the box. Um, Caleb, who works here, does a little bit of processing, and it usually just takes him a short time. He gets them out there right away. The next one is by Tara Moss. This is The War Widow. Ooh, this looks like a good one. It's such a beautiful cover. The War Widow. Um, there's some praise on the back. It says, in, in Billy Walker, Moss has conjured up one kick-butt 1940s heroine, a tough-talking, glamorous feminist who's as adept with a pistol as she is on the dance floor, haunted by a tragic past and an unafraid to take on the darkest of foes, an artful original take on noir suspense that resonates in today's time, times. So, um, the war widow. The war may be over, but her battle has just begun. Very cool. It's like a good one. Oh, Stuart Woods, new one by him. It's Hush Hush. So, if you've been looking for, um, this is a Stone Barrington novel. So, if you read that series and you like Stuart Woods, oh, I know, again, I don't have to say a lot about Stuart Woods. He, um, his books really fly off the shelf here. I'm trying to make an adjustment here so you can actually see the cover. Um, next up here, The Wrong Family. It says, The Wrong Family is your new obsession. You've never read anything like this. It says a lifetime of deadly secrets all over, all under one roof. So it sounds like one of those family um, mystery kind of, you know, twisty tales that a lot of our um, patrons like. It's The Wrong Family by Taryn Fisher. Christina Dodd, um, Wrong Alibi. It says featuring an unforgettable.
of Dead Girl Running. So by the same author of Dead Girl Running, here is Wrong Alibi, and it says, um, in the Alaskan wilderness, the hunted can become the hunter. The hunted can become the hunter. I'm trying to get a close up of this really cool cover. Sorry about the glare. Okay, last one. And I know you guys have been waiting for some adult novels, so here they are. This is a Karen, oh, another Alaska book, an Alaska wild novel, Under the Alaskan Ice. Um, by Karen Harper. So, you know, maybe you've been reading some other um, suspense novels and um, authors of suspense novels. You may want to give Karen Harper a try if you haven't already. Okay, that's it, folks. Um, actually, I, because it's Monday and it's humid out and it's kind of ugly out, I'm going to give you, I'm going to come right back in a couple minutes and I'm going to do a second box. And I think they might also be adult um, fiction. So if you're watching and you want to see a few more books, um, I'll be back in, give me five minutes to go get the other box or two minutes. How about two minutes to come back and see more of the books that we've gotten um, in recently. And they should be available to go this week, probably tomorrow um, on the shelf on, the, on our new new book area so and the book by the way the library is open so come on in um we've opened our regular hours 10 to 4 on saturday we're back to monday through thursday 10 to 6 30 and fridays saturdays 10 to 4 closed on sunday so please um you can now come into the library the building is open so we look forward to seeing you all back here soon um i will be right back in one minute i'm going to stop this video and start another live one um, so you can see the other box of books that I'm going to go through very quickly. So if you're wondering what we got in, um, want to check it out, come on in and get these books. Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm Stephanie Kinsler, I'm the library director at Millington Public Library. And if you just saw the last unboxing, I rushed back here because I knew, I thought I had another box back there. And I think this is a box of adult fiction. So if you were excited about the last batch, I think you'll be excited about these. Um, someone did ask about how to get a library card. So, you know, just to drum up the suspense, I promise I won't talk long about this. You can go to millingtonpubliclibrary.org and check out our website. Um, you, you can under, uh, I think, our about um, see get a library card. But I'll tell you very quickly, all you have to do is live in the 38053 zip code, bring a driver's license or something that shows that you live. Uh, it can be a lease or um, some piece of mail, like a utility bill mail or some sort of mail that has your address, your Millington 38053 address on it and um, a photo ID and we will sign you up for a card. Um, if for some reason um, you are don't want to come in because of COVID, we, we can figure out how to get a card to you. Um, just bring those things in. We give you a card and you're good to go. And with that library card, you have access to our public computers um, for free. You also have access to um, 100,000 audio and ebooks through Tennessee Reads. If you are someone who will listen to, well, I listen to audiobooks on my phone a lot and you just download a free app called Libby and you can listen to books as well. So if you like some of these books, um, you can also possibly get them on Libby. Just know that, you know, these hot popular books that have just been published, what's coming out of these boxes are not old books, they're kind of fairly newly published. So um, let's see what's in the box here, folks, besides the packing slip. Nobody cares about that, except for Caleb has to make sure we got everything we were supposed to. So these boxes don't have all the packing. You know, if you guys have watched these before, I usually like throwing things, the packing materials all over the room. This comes in kind of a more boring <laughs> packet. <laughs> Get the box off there in this packet of plastic so our books are bound together with love here. 
so they don't get damaged in shipping. And oh, I see some good ones, and they are adult fiction. And I know there's a lot of people um, out there waiting to see what's hot and new. Um, I will tell you that these books, when we receive them um, from our book vendors, will go to a new shelf or a new display, and they stay. You can check them out for seven days with, uh, and we allow one renewal on them. So seven days and one renewal, so you can have them for 14 days. The idea is that we get these quick turnover on these books so people waiting to read something hot and new can, can get the books. After three months, they go from new to the regular shelf where they can be checked out for 21 days. So enough about that. Please, if you're interested in getting a library card, come on in or give us a call. Um, we'll tell you what you need, 901-872-1585. Our friendly staff will be happy to help you get signed up. Um, so here's a really um, an interesting fiction. Um, it says, Siri, who am I? I'm not real good with the camera sometimes, folks, so uh, forgive me. It's, yeah, it says, Mia might look like a millennial, but she was, she was born yesterday. Emerging from a coma with a short-term amnesia after an accident, Mia can't remember her own name until the Siri assistant on her iPhone provides it. Oh my. Um, based on her cool hairstyle, undercut with glamorous waves, dress, Prada, and signature lipstick, Chanel, she senses she's wealthy, but the only way to know for sure is to retrace her steps once she leaves the hospital. Using Instagram and Uber, she arrives at the pink duplex she calls home in her post, but makes finds Max, a cute off-duty postdoc, supplementing his income with a house sitting gig he tells her the house belongs to jp a billionaire with a chocolate empire anyway you can see where this going so it's like a gal is in a coma and um is using siri to figure out you know who she is and everything you know that could actually happen today it's really it's kind of freaky so um come check that one out it's by sam cheetah i hope i'm saying that right t-s-c-h-i-d-a Cheetah, thinking the T is silent. Could be wrong there. Feel free to correct me. Jill Shal Shalvis, the forever girl. Jill Shalvis's books are funny, warm, charming, and unforgettable. Looks like, you know, uplifting. It says a pair, the summer deal, almost just friends. It looks like other reviews of other books um, that she's had. Um, so that looks like a nice one. Some of you might like. Faye Kellerman, The Lost Boys. I'm sure if you, uh, you should, many of you are familiar with Faye Kellerman. It says, in a class with the most literate, facile, and engaging writers in the business, exceptionally fine suspense, a master storyteller, and all this plage. Uh, Kellerman, Kellerman succeeds brilliantly in making the search for, uh, making the search for understanding as compelling as the search for the murderer. So... Preston and Child, The Scorpion's Tale. Let me see here if I can read something from this one. It says, in the latest masterwork of adventure and suspense from the celebrated number one best-selling authors, the, discovered, the discovery of a mummified corpse in a legendary ghost town sets off a treasure hunt that will expose a shocking secret that reshapes history itself. Here we have Patricia Cornwell. I'm not even going to say anything about Patricia Cornwell. There's the author. And here's her new book. It's called Spin, a Captain Chase novel. We got Robert B. Parker's Someone to Watch Over Me, a Spencer novel. It says, Atkins perfectly catches Spencer's breezy voice and Parker's knack for creating vivid characters. Lisa Gardner, Before She Disappeared. And it says, to read Lisa Gardner is to put yourself in the hands of a master storyteller. And before she disappeared, she gives us a crackling mystery gritty atmosphere, an unforgettable heroine. 
I love the damaged, determined Frankie Elkin. You will too. So you got a new um, female character in this book by Lisa Gardner. Last but not least, folks, um, Brad Taylor's American Traitor, a American Traitor, a Pike Logan novel. It just says an excellent read. Um, it says Brad Taylor knows his stuff. Hunter Killer has the gunmetal ring of authenticity and the crisp writing of a military communique. It makes you pause and think while you're being thoroughly and rapidly entertained. It's an excellent read and I greatly enjoyed it. Um, so that's it. Um, I'll read a little bit more from this one. Pike Logan is on a on the desperate hunt for a man who is about to betray his country and ignite a horrific new world war. In this pulse-pounding thriller from New York Times best-selling author and former Special Forces Officer Brad Taylor. So if you like your um, military um, drama kind of thing, um, politics and all that good stuff, um, this is a uh, starred review. Um, well, start. I think he had a star review on another one of his books, but um, obviously good stuff. So come out and get them, folks. They're here. Come get your library card. Um, if you don't, if you rather do audio book in ebooks, you can um, get your library card and then use Libby. We can help you download the app. But if you still like to just come and read the good old print books. Um, I admit, I do like to read a print book, but I also like audio books um, so that I can kind of listen while I'm doing other things. Um, come and get them, folks. Thanks for watching. Happy Monday. I hope that brightened your day because it's a little gloomy out, and that's why I kind of did a two-box. I thought it was a two-box day, folks. So, bye. Hope to see you at the Millington Public Library. We are back open our regular hours, 10 to 6.30, Monday through Thursday and Fridays and Saturdays, uh, 10 to four, we're closed on Sundays. Also, one little plug here, I hope people watch to the end. Um, we are doing um, taxes, um, free tax help every Saturday, starting this Saturday, 10 to three, the United Way will be here, and it's a drop-off service only. So basically, you have to wear your mask, socially distance, um, bring your tax paperwork in and of course a lot of times the first um, few Saturdays we have this we do have a line outside so um, you might want to come a little before 10 and um, there are no appointments it's walk-in so um, the United Way will be here every Saturday through April 10th so we have a lot of Saturday dates coming up and I hope you'll come out and um, those of you who really need help um, to free tax assistance please um, we are having that for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good week.